You too. Hey, man, you with another sick. video, boy. Been yes, consistent right. lately, now. We back. Oh, we not better. another Nissan. <laughs> Nissan. You already know how them Nissans is in Atlanta. Oh hell yeah, them fake ass Hellcats. I call them the <laughs> hell too much, goddamn. <laughs> fake ass Hellcats. Hell yeah. But this gonna be a, a life update. You know what I'm saying? Um, for this video. I'm just gonna be we just gonna be asking each other questions slash we're gonna be talking about like our goals our future what we got going on for this year and then we're gonna talk about his CMOS his clothing but we're gonna talk about my YouTube and what other more things that's gonna be coming into this channel for, for this particular year because I really do got some goals for this channel you know what I'm saying so what you got planned for um because you know school school we only got two more days now two more days yes man. sir so two we got days. we got no school for two months now so what, what you gonna be doing for these past two months without worrying about school man these past two months like heading into the summer i'm really just focused on my personal growth my personal mm -hmm. development you know what i'm saying just get into the money mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah. just expanding liquid healing expanding elevation yeah just Elevation man. in a nutshell, you know what I'm saying? That's CMOS, but by the end of the day, boy, that shit <laughs> I mean, you right. Yeah, I'm bro. telling you, bro, because a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the times, like people like our age, like they be eating like a lot of junk food, yeah, a lot of bullshit, so they basically full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but a lot of people walk around full of shit, yeah, and when you drink my drink. You're not gonna be full of shit anymore. You gonna it's gonna detox your it's whole body. It's gonna make you, you go to the bathroom like word. And I, that's a beautiful thing yeah. too. A lot of people be like, ah, damn, nigga, this shit is good, but it's fucking up my stomach. That's the whole fucking point. That means you got shit in your fucking stomach. It you happened gotta to detox me, from it. It happened to me today <laughs> and Friday. Nah, for real, but like, tell them how you was feeling after you drank it. I felt, I, oh man, my, my morning was going beautiful, yo. Then. Man, man, every time my lunch period start, I always go home, got used to the bathroom, which I'm, you know, I be, I be happy about not, not on the weird shit, but like I'm detoxing my body, which helps, helps me develop on um, my, my body to be more healthy. Cause you remember, you remember like, say like a year ago, we, we was eating bad. Yeah. Like we was eating, eating bad until bad. this creator right here, this <laughs> adventure, he, he, he created CMOS, the drink. I didn't and create it. I know, I know, I, I know, I know. But he, he get what I'm saying. And it's just been changing my whole motive on what I eat and what I drink. You know, and, and it's true. And it's, and it's true what people say. You you, you are, are what, what you, you eat. eat. For That's real. what I'm saying. So it was like, back then, I think like, damn, like, I started working at Chick-fil-A. I do work at Chick-fil-A now. I started eating a lot of chicken and meat and shit. And it's like... Yeah. None of that, and I care. And one thing about me, I care about my, I care about like my face or whatever. So it's like whatever you eat is gonna, it's gonna affect your it's body, your skin, and your. It's gonna definitely mess As up. Within, so without, yep, man. It's gonna mess really. up your acne too. You know what I'm saying? And CMOS plays a big role oh, yeah. in my life. You know. Hey, let me tell y'all, man. Like last year, like as he was saying, like we used to eat unhealthy, all that shit, like. My face it used to be like filled with bumps, and now like when you see now like. Like, you know yeah, what I'm bro. saying? It's clear the fuck up. You see both of our shit. And that's just off of shifting our, you know what I'm saying? Our eating habits, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As within, so without. So yeah. if you put in the right high vibrational fuel into your body, you're going to be thinking high vibrational thoughts. You're going to be feeling at a higher vibration instead of just eating pizza and burgers and Takis and shit. You're just going to be full of shit. That's why yeah. you feel like shit. Like, it's real shit, though. Yep. <laughs> How, That's do, real? how do people eat Takis? I, I don't even eat... fucking know how do y'all be like, eating fucking Takis, bro. I used to eat like, them all shit. the time, yo. All Man, the time, what? like for real. All that red, red forty, that yellow, red 40, yellow, yellow six, 40. four, like. And that shit, like niggas be eating that shit in the morning too, bro. That, I be I like, be, what? I be what like, the, what the fuck? Who the fuck eats that shit? Hot in the fries, morning? Cheetos, and shit up in the morning. Like, for real, like I, I, I look at people like, man, is it? And you can see it too. This, this is how they live for real. Yeah. They don't eat. No one eats healthy in our generation, and I'm not going. I'm not saying that for all. But it's like sometimes they have to change their eating habits. And most you of know? the time, it's it's based off just how they was programmed, how they, you know, what I'm saying how they live, how they live mm -hmm. their life. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. most of the time it's not even on them. It's just what they what they know. It's all around us. McDonald's is on every block. Fucking 
hot fries you can get that shit for 50 cent at the store but most of the time all the healthy shit is more expensive so i really don't blame people on you know what i'm saying them eating unhealthy and shit like that yeah. but just do your research you know what i'm saying be mindful about what you put into your body because mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying our bodies is our is our vehicle you know what i'm saying it's just like a car the car we in right now say you have a, a fast beautiful premium car a lamborghini or some shit you want to make sure you put the best possible premium fuel into that car not you're not going to put the 87 bullshit up in your car you're going to put the premium fuel so it can run at its best possible potential it's the same thing with our bodies you know what i'm saying they base all of these technological inventions off the phones the cars they base it off of our bodies you know what i'm saying so just think of it like that yeah that's true that's true that's true and you remember how we used to smoke back then i still and, uh, i ain't gonna care i still be smoking but i'm a casual smoker but I, I'm telling you, bro, you can ask this nigga. I used to be like a stoner, stonehead, a weed head, a pothead, whatever you want to fucking call it. And I was this close to become a stoner, too. Word, I haven't bro. even smoked weed in a, in a year. I'm proud of you for you that, know? too, bro. I'm you know, and my you. dad, my dad always told me, don't ever smoke weed, even though I did. If he's looking at this video, I don't not smoke. I don't do no drugs. He's clean, you know, man. I'm clean. He's I can well do disciplined, too. Yep. Even if he's around people that's doing it, he's disciplined enough to... Uh, you know, still stay on his ground and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, stay disciplined within himself. That's you know why I fuck with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stay disciplined all the time. But, and like, it, and that's one thing. I started reading books, right? Hey, hey, yo, I'm telling you, because you started reading books. books, too. Like, books, like, books. some books, like, it gives you discipline and things like that. Not, like, key, key is knowledge. We all know that. Key is knowledge. Yeah, yeah. It, and key and with key with knowledge is it, the um, principle that we need to uh, have discipline. Feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I feel like we all, like, this is my preference and my, on my perspective, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I feel like we all should be prioritizing expanding our consciousness and expanding our mind. But, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of the time, kids our age, you know what I'm saying, because we still kids. Yes. But people our age don't really, they feel like that. It's like, oh, I don't want to expand my mind. I want to stay the same. I want to party. I want to do this. I want to eat taki, smoke weed all day. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, for us to elevate as like people our age to expand our consciousness and just elevate more, I feel like people just should just start prioritizing expanding their mind. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's that's a key factor in your personal development in life in general. Why wait till you're 19 to be like, all right, now I'm gonna take my life serious, motherfucker? Mm -hmm. You should start fucking now. You should start right, right uh, now, in high school, bro. In high school, in high school bro. Yeah. Cause they program up, they, bro. They set us up for fucking failure. It's, it's straight facts. School, that shit is a system to set you up to be like a regular old oh, nine to five. You go to school, you know. what I'm saying they already program you to wake up like you going to work. You follow directions. You're getting programmed. Oh, do this. You only use the bathroom. I tell you, use the bathroom. And then after school, you go to college, which is a waste of time. Basically, you're stuck in the unless matrix. You, word, unless you trying to, unless you going to college for a fucking reason. Then I don't know, but and them student loans, I I can't understand debt. Being they basically set us up for failure. For and you have to like basically think your way through this shit. This shit is a fucking game, bro. Yeah. For real. I was like, one thing I had an argument with my grandma, not a serious argument about you like don't need to be successful. You you don't need to, you don't need to go to college for to be successful or school. You don't. And then she disagreed with me, and I kept telling her, I'm I, um if I do end up going to college, which if I do, I'll probably going to drop out. But I'm going to prove to everyone in my family because you know, you know, our families they want us to go to college, have a regular job, yeah, because regular because shit. they stuck in that program, they stuck in that matrix. Yeah. You know, and so I want to ha I want to prove to my family that I don't need college to be successful, and that goes for our youth. You know. Right, and I'm not. We're not like knocking down college. I mean, if you yeah, want to go sure. to college yeah. for like you want to be a doctor or you want to. You know what I'm saying? Do something. We're not knocking it down. But, you know what I'm saying? The whole point is for us to... For what they got against us... Yeah. Is to <laughs> fucking keep us programmed. Working 9 to 5. Be in survival mode, basically. Yeah. But I'm not knocking college. It's definitely like some fire shit you can go to college for. Like, I told myself, if I ever go to college, it'll be for fashion or videography. Yeah. And that's some shit I really want to do, You too. said fashion, too? Yeah, I know you fashion. said... You, you saw my fashion one Yeah, time. fashion school. Up in New York, you fashion. Hell yeah. And like videography and shit like that. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't just be going, just be like, oh, I just want to experience experience it and wasting, wasting time. my time. Wasting like, time. And there's real. nothing and there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five right now. You're yeah, gonna use that, that money to expand whatever you got going on. It, either whether it's YouTube, clothing brand, or you trying to be a barber, nail tech, la like anything. A nine to five is really gonna help you on what Start you want to build up. in your future. For you know real. what I'm saying? He didn't even need to get a nine to five to what he's yeah, doing right never, now. That's rare, you know. <laughs> for real. Like that's that's crazy. I never yeah. worked a, like a job in my life. Yeah. Like, I work for myself. That's, that's like good. my job. That's yes, sir. Currently, I work with drinks, with... all mm -hmm. that, and that's been bringing in some good, some good shit. Motivates me for real. Yeah, I currently work at Chick Fil A. I got two jobs. The other job, man, I've already worked there. I've already worked there more than Chick Fil A. But Chick Fil A, they both bring me good incomes throughout each month. Mm -hmm. But, man, I ain't gonna tell you, I was supposed to work today. But someone picked up my chef. I'm like, bro, I didn't really want to work. I really wanted to, like, do a, a video today, really. Yeah. So, you know, um, I don't, I feel like quitting, um, but I'm not going to quit yet. Uh, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to just wait till I save up enough money, you know. I will be, be, I will be buying a camera soon for more quality, yeah. you know. And I will be working on my editing more and the thumbnails, too. You know, Elevator. we're going to be out you know, elevating. Elevating. We going yes, up. Yes, every, sir. every step of the way. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, how, um, uh, what's your goals for this year for um your uh, upcoming clothing brand? Man, my goals for elevation, man. Really? Elevation. Got the waterfall out right now with the green. There we got the. Yeah, I got. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we said elevator, man. Look, look at the trees, man. See, I love nature, bro. I know, I love like, nature every too. Every time, like, when I'm feeling like just cluttered and my mind's just going like everywhere, yeah, I just go outside and I feel so much better. Yeah, look, look at all this green. Like, it's really like if you ever feeling down, always come outside, come to nature, yo. It really helps with your mental, for real. Beautiful. Or like hug a tree. Hug a tree, man. Appreciate oh, yeah. the tree. Hug a tree, I'm telling you. Yeah, cause this is what God made for us. <laughs> we gotta appreciate what God made. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Pete the drip. Oh, I got the yeah, voices on. 17 elite. Yes, some of some of slight shit. This is my everyday shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh that waterfall shit. looking nice. Damn. <laughs> Beautiful day, man. You yeah. see my Y'all better smile. <laughs> Y'all better, yeah. better smile. Y'all yeah, better smile, bro. Yes, smile, sir. bro. Laugh, smile, live life, bro. Yes, I'm sir. You, bro. Oh, yeah, y'all see thing this. Anybody could do is just live life and love your fucking self, bro. Yes, sir. Be you, no matter what. Hey, man, to that. That's not. I see you more. too. We back, man. We back. back and we better, man. Every day we just went. Every day. For a little walk. Now, I have, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna set that clip. I don't get fucked by the old rules. Yeah. Work it out. Just like a gym, nigga. Work it out. Dun, 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 dun. Work it out. <laughs> just like a gym, nigga. Work it out. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Ooh. And I knew it down. And then that bit was on shrooms. Boy, Shahi gonna know that part. When oh, Shahi. <laughs> Shahi, when you watching this video, that me up. Got your stupid ass, nigga. <laughs> Got your stupid ass. But nah, that's <laughs> what. So he, I remember, I remember, I remember you. I shot me, little nigga. Like, ooh. No, y'all see this? But well, I always keep keep this everywhere with me. You know what I'm saying? Automatic all the time. Whenever I'm driving, just in case, just in case a nigga want to play. You feel know me? <laughs> sun shining through. Beautiful the sun. Sun shining on a beautiful skin. Yes, sir. Energizing my body on a fucking spiritual level. I feel great. Day. This is what God created us to be. <laughs> Word. Word. For real. Man, so what I want to get into, um, before I graduate, um, this is my goal. I want to make $10,000 before I graduate, and that's going to happen. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm financially stable. I feel like, I, I feel like that plays a big role. Um, I, 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 before I graduate, I really want to make some investments. I really, I really want to invest in mutual stocks. Um, I know I'm kind of young, but like, I kind of want to invest in retirement. 
but that I'm way too young for that right now. But um, man, before I graduate, well, before we all graduate the youth, like I want us to expand our, our businesses. I want us to expand on what we want to do in life. I want us to like get to that point where we can make money to the point where we don't have to go to we the, to the point where we don't have to go to college to the point where we don't have to work a nine to five. Making money in our sleep, type shit. That's what I'm saying. That's making uh, money, and I'm only, I don't even gotta lift a finger. Like that's the type of shit. That's like my biggest thing in life. I just I'm just I desire to be just financially stable. You know what I'm saying, and just at whole within you know what i'm saying that's my biggest thing because you know i can have all the money in the world but if i'm not happy and at whole within you know what i'm saying and happy internally then that shit none of that shit matter so my biggest thing is just having just pure love flowing and abundance flowing you know what i'm saying uh, yeah man and I, and I wish everybody the best really I really do. Um, I feel I feel like I feel like some people is kind of wasting their time right now, and like a lot of people do got goals, but I I also want to motivate the people that's watching right now. Do whatever you want to do in life. Do it right now. It's really going to benefit you when you graduate. You don't want to do it when you graduate, cause then you're gonna be lost in the mind. Like, damn, what am I supposed to do? Like, you should have done that. Like when you was in high school. You know what I'm saying? And this why, and this is, I made this channel in 2017, and um, you know, I didn't even really think about YouTube until when I, I think I started started two months ago. I was like, yo, I really want, I really want to do this. So I started YouTube. I didn't post for a month, and then I started posting when me, D, and Rodney did a Q and A. Then haven't posted till another month, and then and then when May hit, I'm like, I'm gonna post every weekend. You know, I didn't post last weekend, but I posted on Monday, and now, now today's Tuesday, and I'm posting on Tuesday. And, you know, I just want to, um, I just want to say that, um, whenever we, when, whenever like we're big, we're gonna, we're gonna look back to this video, we'll be like, Man, damn, we can be like, yo, we manifested our life. Yeah, we, be, yeah. We gonna look back at these videos and be like, bro, we literally spoke that shit to existence. We were speaking it, and now we living it. For real. That's the type of shit we own. That's why you, like. Why not, like, come hop into this side, bro? The youth. This mm -hmm. is what we about. We about spiritual elevation, mental elevation, elevating financially, just elevating in life general, bro, in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, <clears throat> I don't know. This is how I feel. But I feel like a lot of people feel like they can't, like, really talk to us or something. Because I don't know. Like. What are you trying to say? Like, I feel like people be, I don't fucking know, bro. Edit that shit out, bro. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Bro. Edit that shit out. But, yeah, but now, man. like, why not come hop into this side, bro? We on, like, some real elevation shit, bro. Like, mm -hmm. if you come fuck with us, it could be anybody. You could be a female, male, anything, bro. If you trying to elevate and you serious about elevating the life, we the right people to be with. You know what I'm saying? Because we serious about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you are who you are when you're around people. And what I mean by that is if you're around good people, you're going to be good people. If you're around bad people... You're gonna be bad people, and I'm not. And I'm just not saying that for everybody. But some people in life, they're gonna be like you. You. You is who you are. Whoever you hang around with, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If I hang out with people that do drugs, I'm gonna end up doing drugs. That's why I don't put myself in, in them type of positions. I, I like to be. I like to be around people like him, and our group, the youth. That 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 really plays a big role in my life. You know, I see. I see we are doing good for each other. You know, these people actually motivate me to do YouTube. And, you know, that's what keeps me going in life. And, you know, I do want to make it out. I do want to make it out whenever I'm in high, whenever I graduate. Like, you know, like, I want to be monetized. Like, like I want to hit 4,000 watch hours. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers. And after that, like, that's when, like, I'm going crazy on YouTube. I'm going to be posting, like, every week, you know, being consistent. That's number one, being consistent. And... You know that I really want that. I really want my goal to to you you know be RRL like in real life. And this shit gonna happen, bro. It's gonna happen. I'm telling you, you gotta work towards we your goals. We finna be looking back at these videos like, damn, we fucking spoke that shit for real. real. And we, you know, what I'm saying we just on a constant state of elevation. This shit is a journey, and I'm loving this journey personally, bro. I don't care how 
the highs, the lows, the 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 happy, the sads. I still love this shit no matter what, because I'm on my personal journey and all of those emotional experiences and just experiences in general are a part of this journey. So I'm loving every moment of that shit, bro. Yes, sir. And I'm just living and I'm just happy, like for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know, whenever we become big, of course we um. We want to motivate people. We want to. We want to. We want to inspire the, the youth, guide mm. people in the right directions, bro. Yes, sir. Especially Got it, one. Why do you think that's my name? You. You know our siblings. You know. Our, you know the little the little kids that that's gonna look up to us in the next few years. You know, we we really want to expand our business if we're gonna work towards that goal. Things don't happen overnight, but you know, and that goes for, it doesn't doesn't go for me and him. It goes for everybody. You you have a goal. You have to go towards that go. You have to work. You have to work. You have to work. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. You gotta pray to God too. I always pray to God because the God is in God's hands. It's in God's hands. And everybody's book is already written. Like I say, everybody's book is already written. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter if my homies is 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 gonna be successful, you know, before me. Like he he could be he you know uh, he could blow up right now. Like he you you know you could have a business right now tomorrow, but I'm still on the low. I'm not, you know, that's going, that's going to motivate me. Like, okay, my homie's on the top. Now I'm next. So now I'm going to work even more just because he blew up. Like, there's one, it's one person elevate, the rest elevate. The rest. And that's the rest why it's so elevate. important because you are who you hang around. It's so important to hang around people that, you know what I'm saying, that add value to your character. You know what I'm saying? That motivates you to be better. You know what I'm saying? That y'all, y'all motivate each other. If you, if he's slacking, nigga, you slacking. If I'm up, nigga, you up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how that shit gotta fucking be. Yes, sir. With anybody you with, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these, a lot of motherfuckers is out here trauma binding. What you mean by that? These niggas only friend, <laughs> bro. A lot of people are in friendships that's based on not trauma but drama. They drama binding. They they just friends because they like to talk about fights. So oh yeah, you my friend. Let's let's go talk about fights and drama all day and bitches and hoes and. Just random shit, yeah. like that and ain't not, no real friendship. Yeah, man. and there's nothing wrong talking about you know all the shit that doesn't matter. But it's like when you consistently have a balance. Yeah, have a have a balance in life, man. Just have a balance. You you talk about fights, fucking hoes, smoking like all the time, literally all the time. What do I look? What do what do we look? Why why do I look like hanging out with you? You you not been you not benefit me with any of none of that information that that's gonna help me in life. You know. And I, I don't even like conversations like that. I can have a conversation with you about fighting or that, but you know, it's, it's expanding like a, a long term conversation about that. I don't, I don't really want that. You know, yeah. I want to talk about our future. I want to talk about what 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 we got planned and what we're gonna do now. What we're gonna do, you, you know, just just like what we're gonna do in life, you know. And I like conversations like that, you know. It, and I also like have a conversation um helping people around, you know. All that, all that negative energy, on um, with, with fights, fucking hoes, smoking, like we, it's um, unnecessary man. shit yeah. that that doesn't add value to you know what I'm saying my life. I just yeah. don't got time for that shit. Like that's the type of time that I'm on right now. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real, man. I don't got time for like just bullshit. For real, yeah, man. But is it like anything? Is there anything in life that you want to fix or anything that um you want to contribute um into your life or anything what that you, you want to spend like um what 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 am I trying to say like um man, what am I trying to say like like um oh still going oh video still going all right cool yeah, but it's like um one question what what do you do whenever you feel down like. You you feeling down? You been you you feel sad? Like what? I'm feeling down. I just try to look at everything in a positive outlook. Like you know what I'm saying. I know that feeling of me feeling down ain't gonna last forever. You know what I'm saying. And it's, it, it's still life to live. Why would I be like? There's no point in stressing about anything, bro. And I and I ask him that because a a lot a lot right now like we're we're, we're stressed about school and all that. And I just want to say that. I'm you know, not. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fuck I'm saying. school. Yeah, <laughs> fuck school. Fuck school. I don't give a fuck about school. Yeah. I, the la that's the last thing I'll ever stress about, nigga. Yeah. Some damn school shit. Yeah. As long as I got seventies, I'm straight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, you ever feel stressed about not? It don't even have to be about school, but it could be about anything. You know, you know, 
Whenever you feel <laughs> stressed, give everything to God. God, you you can't you can't control everything in life. Only God can. Give everything to God. Pray, and and this is what I do. You you know um, what was I about to say um, do things do things that 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 um that um makes you happy. Do things that make you unthink about a situation that you were stressing about. You know, I'll talk I'll talk to God. You know, um, meditation meditation also helps too. You right. Know? You don't you don't have to stress, you know. It's you all, have a positive outlook at the yeah, end of the day. At the end of the just day. Just know yeah. that that feeling of depression of you know sadness or any negative emotion, just know that shit not gonna last forever, bro. That's true. There's so much life to live. Like that shit is temporary. Yes sir. Everything is really temporary if you think about it. Yes sir. Everything is temporary. This moment is temporary. Yes, sir. Like, that's just how I think about shit. Yo. Yeah. Hey man. It's the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? I had a good, I had a great time with my boy, man. We just had, I just wanted to give y'all a life update. And we, you know, we had to talk about, you know, a, this is a just talk about hella shit. Yeah, man. This we just a, let that shit flow. You know what we didn't even like, plan, we ain't even plan what we was going to talk about. We was just like, all right, fuck real. it. We started like, a video. I like everything natural. Natural man. shit, bro. Anything yes, you do, make sure that shit natural, bro. Yes, sir. Anything you want to say to the camera, to the folks, the people that's watching the audience. Hey, man, why the fuck do I, that, why the fuck do I got on my seatbelt? <laughs> we had my fucking seatbelt the whole time like we was driving oh, that's just muscle memory every time i get up in the car i already know to yeah, put on my seatbelt but uh one thing one thing i want to say is just control your narrative control who you are in this realm of life oh show them the your um back of your phone the back Since of my phone that. that's why i was showing them in the beginning bro it's probably gonna be inverted up on the camera but control your narrative bro that's all i gotta say you know what I'm saying? Yes, Live, sir. love, and laugh. Yes, sir. Um, um, we'll be posting this weekend, y'all. I'm not gonna disappoint y'all. We'll be consistent on YouTube. I hope y'all having a great day, staying positive, staying elevated. Go get to your goals by the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay safe, y'all stay positive. Get I some love fucking liquid healing too. Yes, sir. And C Moss. Your body. C Moss. Put Pray. the right fuel into get your body. Get some